Uh, without getting too heavy into uh, uh, solid state electronics, um, let me just show you the basic idea of, of a CCD, right? Um, and, and that is that these incoming photons here, okay, are actually knocking electrons out of um, where they should be. This creates something called an electron hole, which is a, a charge, right? It's a place where an electron could be, but it's not, okay? And, and uh, solid state electronics is full of stuff like that, right? And that charge is um, held in these little these little cells, these little uh, uh, spots, which are, are pixels, right, on, on the screen. They're held there um, until they're moved off of this chip. Uh, I think it's important to realize that, that, a, that a CCD is really an analog device. Okay, it, it, what it reads is voltage. So the brightness of the light, the amount of photons that hits this thing is ultimately transferred into voltage. And that's because, of course, voltage is the charge divided by the capacitance of the... I've just rearranged the capacitance formula there, right? It's the charge divided by the capacitance of that, right? So places, pixels that have a high voltage on them received a lot of photons because the photons knocked the electrons out of there, okay? That's the basic idea. Also notice that there's parts of the CCD device that don't aren't sensitive to light. Okay, so there's all this wiring and stuff on there, um, and there's like places. There are only certain places where it actually is sensitive to light. Um, this has something to do with the efficiency of the device. Obviously, you want the most part of the of the device to be sensitive to light, but not all of it is, right? Okay, and then <clears throat> some of this language here, I'll talk about what we mean by this, but. But uh, it, it, they shifted off of there in two directions. So this is why, you know, CCD devices, the, the camera's got a lot of work to do after a picture's taken. Okay, and then the voltage is converted to digital. There's an a, a analog to digital converter, okay, that's, that's uh, humming along. It's got to read every single pixel. So if you've got a million pixels, it's going to do a million readings, which it can do pretty fast. Okay. The second thing that you need to know is that, that uh, CCD devices are only black and white. A CCD device can only register light. It doesn't keep track of how many green photons and blue and red photons hit it. So what you do, and this is a, um, somebody's graphic of a CCD device. This is, these are called mosaic uh, filters. So you've got uh, a red one, a blue one, a green one. This one's going to let more red ones through. This will let more blue ones through. This will let more green ones through. That and some software uh, is going to recreate what color the object, what color the light was, right? If it was, uh, if a lot of light hit this pixel and not so much this one and this one, then for example, it's a red, it's red light, okay? Um, so yeah. And then this is a schematic diagram, sort of a, of a, of a um, digital camera, right? Uh, so here is your, all your pixels, right? And then what it does, what it basically does is it, it, um, it takes this thing row by row, pops it into something, I believe this is called a shift register. Uh, I might be wrong, um, but it's, a, it's an analog one, right? So we stick the thing in there, and then boom, 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 we read these things, we pop them off of there. So this whole row goes down into here, and then we pop pixel by pixel, we pop them off, we amplify it, this is an amplifier, and then we analog, do analog to digital um, conversion, right? Then we do uh, JPEG compression, this is a computer program, right? Then we store it to a memory card, right? So, so all of this is going on. Basically, a uh, you know a camera represents uh, the computing power of the entire world in 1972 or something like that. That's not true, but you know, okay. And then you know there is optics in there, and so the you know the picture of the dog eating with knife and fork. Draw the fork there. They forgot to draw the fork. There's a knife. I don't know there. Okay. Uh, that that picture is is on the uh, film in this case an electronic detector it actually inverts it but it doesn't really matter your eye also inverts them too um, but anyway you can wrap your mind around that one um, but there's a shutter the shutter opens and closes uh, the lens focuses the image on the, the CCD device and and uh, that's like you know a whole chapter of the book so we're gonna I'm gonna hit the right arrow okay. And then this is the Nikon D3X, um, you know, which is the camera I just sold. I'm just kidding. Um, this is a, uh, a CMOS. It's not actually, the detector's not actually CCD, but it's a, it's a, it's a similar idea. 
There are pixels, they're sensitive to light. But this is, what is it? It's something metal oxide, I forget. Um, but this is the sensor size, so 35 millimeter film. It's, it's you know, it's 35 millimeter-ish size, right? Um, it's got, uh, it's a 24 megapixel need. I mean, that's how many pixels it's got. The human eye is still a little better. 121 million pixels. Uh, you know, a computer monitor, for example, is probably a couple megapixels. Depends on the monitor, right? Uh, so, yeah. Um, I think eventually cameras are going to get better, right? Uh, and then, you know, of course, this is the lens of the eye, and here's the, the part that's sensitive to the light, right? Um, and then there's something else. There's magnification, which is uh, the image size. To the the object size, these are almost always in a camera. I mean, I can't think of a camera where it's not less than one because the image is this little tiny image here on the film, right? That's what your image is, right? And the object is, um, you know, bigger. All right. Hey, that's all you need to know, I think.